request. It's a very important matter. Uh, indeed, if this was a functioning country where systems work, immediately this scandal broke. Public health officials will have an announced a major screening exercise because the doctors have told us about the medium to long term implications of consuming this insect infested and high fat acidity contaminated rice. But here we are, they are all playing ostrich. The Ministry of Education, which will open its doors for this health screening to be done, has now metamorphosed into a staunch defender of laments, a company that has engaged in criminality and has admitted in writing, and we'll give you copies of all of that, that they are culpable. So we would like to use this medium to wake up respectfully all those institutions, particularly the Ghana Health Service, the Ministry of Health, who have been silent on this matter so far. There is the need for an urgent national medical screening exercise. We will endorse that. We will welcome that. And even if this house must approve funding for that, we will gladly support any exercise in that regard. So it's a very important uh, question you have asked. And uh, it's a matter that has agitated our minds. And we, we, we believe that uh, there ought to be mass screening of all SHS students, particularly those who have consumed this rice from February to now. Question number two. You are asking about possible legal processes, whether we will want to consider going to court. Uh, for now, we are demanding a national commission of inquiry by the president. We are also commencing our own parliamentary inquiry where we'll be summoning all of these officials. We have self notice that they will not be allowed to get away with this. We want to exhaust these processes uh, before we consider any uh, court action at this point. Having said that, we are not going to be in the way. We will not stop any parent or any student who decides to go to court based on what has happened. It will be well within their right. But we as parliamentarians, we think that we have the forum to be able to exhaust our parliamentary oversight. And that is what we are doing now. We want to exhaust that before we consider any further action. Then, uh, then the, 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 the first leg of the question, whether we have discovered any health consequences. Uh, because we don't run the schools, we are not uh, house masters, we are not headmasters, um, uh, it will not be accurate on our part to speak to matters that we are not directly uh, involved with. However, what we do know is that we have received, since this expose, we have received countless of petitions and parents, students narrating their ordeal uh, about what they've gone through. Some have even been speaking to the media. Some have written on social media uh, that they have the awards who have had to visit the hospital on multi multiple occasions, who have been hospitalized because of food that they have eaten and all of that. That is why we say that there is a need for formalized systems to be put in place a commission of inquiry into this matter, where students can be spoken to, where house masters, uh, dining hall officials, the matrons, the cooks, the headmasters, can be spoken to about what has transpired and what the ordeal has been. So I'm sure a lot more will come up when we have 
the formalized structures put in place when this commission of inquiry begins to work. And also when our parliamentary committees begin to invite affected persons, we are sure that a lot more will, will, will come out. But uh, it will be strange to us if there's any Ghanaian who will say that you have not heard of many reports of students complaining about the quality of food, about the hospitalization which has happened because of, um, of eating contaminated food. Uh, and that is why we insist that this medical screening ought to be done. And then also we need a commission of inquiry to delve into these matters. Uh, not only to try to seek health remedies for those who have been affected, but also to put in place reforms, as we talked about, to improve on food safety and then the health of our students in school. It is very, very important. Elsewhere, when these scandals occur, as they occur rarely, and you will not see institutions engage in such complicity, what happens is that they immediately put in place far-reaching reforms to prevent this from, from occurring. Because when you look at the entire chain, you can tell that we are in big trouble. From the buffer stock company having unregistered storage facilities, being complicit, allowing their premises to be used for this criminal rebugging, all the way to FDA, supposedly granting extensions, Ministry of Education's complicity, their refusal to act when they were prompted as far back as January. Even when the ranking member engaged the minister in February, he didn't take action. You know, all the way to the police who were then compelled, you know, to release these people who were arrested at the uh, storage facility of NAFCO on the 20th of December 2020. So there are serious matters which show that our institutions are clearly failing and have let the children of this country down, have let parents down, have let all of us down. And we must insist that this broken system should not be allowed to, to, to exist. I hope I've responded to all the questions. I'm told that uh, only yesterday it was reported in the news that at the Kumasi Metropolitan, uh, uh, Kumasi Mampontin SHS, a student was rushed to hospital and doctors revealed that it's a case of food poisoning. Uh, you may want to follow up on that. There are many of these reports all over. If you, if you even Google a few weeks ago, you notice that the FDA had to confiscate expired food, contaminated food, somewhere in the Upper East region. If you, it was widely reported by the press. So these things are going on. You know, and I'm told there's a similar case in Abutia. It's become widespread. It's become widespread. On a daily basis, students are being rushed to hospital. Contaminated food is being served. Read the PIAC report. When PIAC went around, they also saw contaminated food being served to us. Well. Remember that um, PIAC had to take interest in this because some of the funding for free SHS is from our oil revenue. And that is where PIAC comes in uh, to be sure that we are getting value for money. And when they went around, they saw all of this contaminated food being served to our children. So this is not a matter that we should even play partisan football with. Not at all. The children in secondary school, they are, <laughs> majority of them don't vote. And all of us, our children are there. So it's not that MPP and DC matter. So we should not engage in needless partisanship. This is a matter of national concern. And we must all come together to approve this canker and make sure that the criminal-minded elements, laments, and their collaborators are brought to justice. That is why we insist that today, 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 the IGB should be issuing commands for the arrest of the directors of laments. Today, he should not allow these people to continue working freely, smiling all the way to the bank and enjoying our taxes, even when they didn't deliver fully, even the contaminated food. Well, maybe we should thank God that they didn't supply fully, as the Auditor General has discovered. All right, so on that note, oh, there's one more. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs>